Hello and welcome to my brand new quick conversion compressor guide. Now if you load up the brand new compressor 4.1, it looks like a lonely place to be, there's not really much happening, but as soon as you press this show button here on the left hand side, it starts to become a familiar place. So what I want to do is just very quickly show you how you throw a video file at compressor and convert it into a few different file types. So let's hop over into Finder. On my desktop, I have a version of Audition which has its audio mixed for online, but as you can see the file size is 2.19 gigabytes, which is quite a lot to be uploading to the internet and various other places. So we're just gonna drag this file into this add file option, and you can see the files now here in our current projects window. From here we can add a few different output sources. So for instance, let's say we wanna add it to iTunes, we can just grab this iTunes output, and you can see by default the lo output location is going to be source, i.e. wherever that file is, that's where it's going to create the output. It was on my desktop, it's going to be on the desktop. I don't advise saving to your desktop though, keep your desktop clean. We've also got some custom conversion rates down here, so I want to throw in a 1080p version for YouTube and a 720p version for Vimeo. However, let's just quickly recap how to create a custom file. So you can see there is already a published and Vimeo option and there's a HD 720p encoding. If we press duplicate, it's gonna put it into the custom folder. From here, we can then click on this settings button over in the top right hand corner, and you can see we've got some familiar tools that have been a bit more nicely laid out that are more visually in key with Final Cut Pro. If we go over to video, you can see we've got options for frame size, and we've also got bitrate options, which is what we wanna be adjusting. If we choose change quick time settings, you can see we can restrict the bitrate too. At the moment, it's on basically 10 megs a second, which is really high for 720p. I'd recommend somewhere between three and five. So we can choose 5,000. And go ahead and press OK. And that's going to drastically reduce the estimated file size down to 2.36 gigabytes an hour compared to 4.67. So with this 720p optimized for streaming, Basically the bitrate obviously just reduces the file size, quicker to upload, quicker to stream. We can also grab this and throw this onto our conversion file. Then once we've set this up and we're happy with the locations, which you can change by right clicking and choosing a location, you can choose other and then that's gonna bring up a system finder dialog box. We can press start batch. And very quickly, very easily, we've now got this batch, it's ready to go. If we toggle down these options, you can see it's got three outputs ready to encode to three different places. So hopefully this was useful. This is the quick compression compressor guide and now you're ready to use compressor for quick conversions. Hello and welcome to my brand new <coughs> Flem.